Hi, I'm going to show you how to work a knit hem, uh, first along a cast on edge and then second along a bind off edge. Uh, I have a small swatch here. I've cast on and then worked about three inches of stockinette in, um, in a light gray. So I'm ready to make my hem. What I'm going to do is pick up my fabric, fold it in half, orienting it so that the cast on edge is directly behind my live stitches. So to make the hem, what you want to do is pick up one stitch for each, one stitch along the cast on edge for each live stitch. Um, you're going to work them together and that's going to graft the stitches and then you have your hem. So to pick up those stitches along the cast on edge, I use a um, smaller size needle, um, either a double point or a circular needle. Uh, one tidbit is that um, be sure to pick up one of these lower bumps here that look like little U's rather than these upper bumps that look like arches. All right, so sometimes this first edge stitch is a little tricky to find, but here we go. And I have 12 stitches on my needle, so I need to be sure that I'm picking up 12 stitches along the cast on edge. All right, I've got my 12 stitches. I'm holding them parallel, uh, my two needles parallel to one another. And um, now I'm ready to work these stitches together. So I take third needle, the same size as my other working needle, and I'm just gonna knit these stitches together. Like that. Insert the needle into the front leg of both stitches. There we go. So you do this all the way across um, your row or your round or however the pattern indicates. Um, as you become more and more comfortable with this technique, you may find that you won't even need to pick up the stitches with this smaller needle along the um, cast on edge. You can kind of just use the tip of your working needle to pick them up as you go. But just however, knitter's choice, whatever your preference. Okay, so I've worked all the way across my round, my row, excuse me. Here we go, and we have a, a hem right here, knit hem. And then if you turn your work, you can see the um, cast on right here. It's kind of pretty. And you're ready to just start working again in stock a net um, or whatever pattern you choose. And that's how you make a knit hem along the cast on edge. Now I'm going to show you how to make a knit hem along a bind off edge. Uh, you can see my swatch here. I have this fun pink yarn um, threaded under every other stitch of this row. Um, this is a guideline. There's different ways you can make a guideline. This is how I like to do it. Um, I just take a tapestry needle and a very fine yarn or even a thread. Uh, I identify the row of stitches that I want to graft together with my working stitches for the hem. And then I just, I draw that tapestry needle under every other, every other stitch column, just like that. Just demonstrate a few. And then when you're finished making your hem, it's easy enough to just pull out. All right, so I have my swatch. I have my guideline. I'm ready to make a hem. I'm going to fold my fabric very similar to how we did when we were making a hem along a cast on edge. Um, this time you have to orient it a little differently just because there's this extra fabric back here. But just make sure that you have your guideline, your row of stitches directly behind your live stitches. Now we can use the spare needle and pick up, um, pick up along the row beforehand just like we did in the um, along the cast on edge. But another option is to just pick them up as you go using the tip of your left needle. And that's what I'm gonna do for this hem. Um, also for this hem, I'm gonna bind off as I go. Um, you can either do it as I'm gonna do it now, or you can make the hem and bind off on the following row. But okay, so I've got all of my work in my left hand. I have my guideline directly behind 
my live stitches, I'm going to use the tip of this needle to just pick that bump up. And now I'm ready to knit these two together. Let me get this guideline out of the way. There we go. Now I can pick up the next one, knit these two together. And since I'm binding off as I go, I'm going to pick this up and pull it up off that needle. Just pick this guy up. Knit those together. Now I'm binding off, so I'm going to bind that stitch off. And you just keep doing these stitches all the way across the row. You pick one up knit two together, and the optional step would be to bind this off. Do be careful not to bind off too tightly. That can be a bit of a pitfall with this technique. All right, gone all the way across the row. Now you can see this beautiful knit hem. Bye-bye guideline.